Do you have a necklace that you don't wear because it's slightly too short? Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to my channel where I show you how easy jewellery making can be. I have this beautiful necklace that my husband bought me, but it's slightly too short so I don't wear it very often. So I thought today I would add an extended chain to it and I'll show you how I do that and talk you through everything you need to add an extended chain to a necklace of yours. In front of me I have everything you will need. Obviously I've got my little necklace here and my necklace has a clasp. It's just got a spring ring clasp and it's attached with a couple of jump rings. As well as that I have a 6mm jump ring and a 4mm jump ring. I have a little dangle to put on the end of my extended chain just to make it look a little bit more pretty and I've got some 5.5mm chain here. Now obviously I've got too much here but I wanted to show you how to cut it. In terms of tools I've got two pairs of chain nose pliers and a pair of flush cutters. Let's get started. So with my necklace I have a spring ring clasp on one end and on the other end it's just a jump ring. So I'm not going to worry about interfering with the clasp bend at all. All I'm going to do is add it an extender to this end here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my uh, six millimeter jump ring and I'm going to open it. Now if you haven't used jump rings before I will leave a link in the description box below to a video all about jump rings. So I'm taking it in my pliers on either side and I'm going to open it. Right, now I've just realised I haven't cut my chain so I need to do that first. I'm going to uh, guesstimate about five centimetres of chain. Now to cut my chain I'm going to be using my flush cutters and I'm just taking them and I'm going to pick up the chain at about the right point where I want my chain to be cut. So this is the end I'm keeping. And you can see there I've got my flush cutters through the link of the chain and I'm just going to holding my fingers over both parts of the chain, top and bottom, I'm going to cut. And the reason I held my fingers there was so that I didn't, uh, it didn't fly all over the room. Okay, so there's my wee bit of chain. And what I'm going to do is take my jump ring and pop on my chain. Did I mention this is super easy? And then I'm going to take my little jump ring on the end of my necklace here and I'm going to add that as well. Now if you have a large jump ring on your necklace that you can open, you could just use that one and not use the 6mm one. I always like to put a 6mm one there so that it's easier to do up the clasp. All right, so I've got my jump ring closed now. Just double checking and making sure it's really well closed. So that's what I have now. And you can see there that my extender chain is already added. So I could leave it like this, but I actually want to add a little dangle to the end to make it a little bit more pretty. So just to show you how it works, I've got my spring ring clasp here and now I can just add it to the jump ring. So that's how it will look when it's done up. But of course with this nice chain, so I used a 5.5 millimeter chain and the reason I use that is so that I can actually attach the clasp to any one of those links and therefore make my necklace longer. All right, so now we've got the practical part done, let's do the pretty. So there's my chain and I'm going to take my four millimeter jump ring now and my two pairs of pliers. Now I'm going to open my jump ring just like before and this time I'm going to add my little dangle here like that in the end of my chain. And now I'm closing up that jump ring. And there's my little dangle. So as you can see there's my complete extender all ready to go. Now when I do up my necklace 
as I said I can do it up on any of those links and it will be longer than it was before. So there's my necklace with the extender attached. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of my jewellery making tutorials feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the video, ring the bell, all of that stuff, you know the drill. And also check out our Instagram and our Facebook page because often we will share things there that obviously don't come up to YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.